Okay, start. So, let's talk about dividend stocks today. Most people over, I would say, overemphasize the power of the company behind the stock giving the dividend. What I mean to say is that a lot of people believe if you buy into a dividend stock, that company is pretty stable and it's not going to be hurt by a market correction or a market crash as much as other stocks. Um, that might be true if it's a value stock, but generally the bear market or market correction hurts all stocks, almost all stocks, and dividend, dividend stocks, even though they probably don't deserve it, do get hurt as well. So buying into dividend stocks isn't a way to protect yourself against the market crash. But here's the entire point of this video. Um, if you are a company giving out a dividend stock, it means you probably don't have any other place to put that money. You're not a growth company, you're not investing in R&D, you're not a pharmaceutical company. You're usually a well-established company who is already making a lot of money and you want to give back to your shareholders because that's your job as a company. Now, I get requests from time to time to do statistical studies on stocks or certain events in the stock market. My most recent study was on um, stocks that double their dividend. Now, what that means is, let's say I'm giving out uh, 20 cents per share per quarter. That's my dividend I'm giving to my shareholders. Now, I double that to 40. Most companies won't do that. Most companies will stick with the original dividend or maybe up it a little bit. Very few will double it. Some, sometimes they actually triple it, which is what I saw in the study. So I was asked to look at what happens after a company doubles its dividend. Now what I found was actually quite surprising and very playable if you want to utilize this information in your portfolio decision making or in just swing trading. Here's what I found. Stocks that double their dividend outperform the stock market. They, after doubling their dividend, not before, not right after, but a year after. Within the year that follows the doubling of the dividend, these stocks outperform the market in general. The majority of them do. And it's not a slight outperformance. It's beating the market by 17% per year. So if you will recall, the stock market at the moment gives you about 7% per year if you invest in the stock market as a whole. So if you're buying an index fund, you can expect to make 7% back on your investment at the end of the year. Now, if you were to just invest in stocks that doubled their dividends, put all your money in, spread them out between those stocks, or even randomly invest in a stock that has just doubled its dividends, you're actually going to be looking at 24% per year. Not because of the dividend, that's just a small part of it, but because the stock itself grows really quickly after that first year. Now, the implications of this study, well, the, the reasons for this, we don't really know, um, but there are a few good guesses. And one guess might be more investors are now attracted to the stock because the dividend is higher, but if that were true, we would see them getting in on the stock before the payout comes. Because when a stock announces it's gonna double its dividend, you have some time to buy the stock and then get the double dividend. But we don't see the stock price go up. That means the demand for that stock did not go up. It's only after the payout date, after people have received that double dividend the first time, that the stock price starts to go up and up quickly one standard deviation quickly. That's way higher than you'll see pretty much anything else. So the more reasonable explanation is probably that a stock or a company that can double its dividend is now fundamentally different than it was before. There's something better about the company. Maybe its profit margins are better. Maybe there really is something new on the horizon and they want to give back to shareholders. We don't know what exactly happened there, you can invest, you can investigate each stock independently and determine why they're so great after they doubled their dividend, 
But that's probably the most reasonable explanation at this point. A, a company that can double its dividend, a company that does double its dividend, think of it like this. If you're doubling your dividend, you don't want to cut it back into half later. You're gonna lose investors, people are gonna be upset. It's just like if you're a business person and you cut prices in half and then raise them double later. Even though they get the original price that they were paying at the very beginning, they're gonna be upset because you rose, you, you rose the prices. It's the same with the dividend. You can't raise your dividend, you can't double your dividend and then cut it in half and expect investors to stick with you. So companies know this and they know that if they double their dividend, they have to be able to keep the dividend at that level. And they can't keep it at that level unless they have the money, the power to do so via good profit margins. So that's my theory. But that's not the point. The point here is how you can use this information to make more money yourself. Now obviously the stocks that have doubled their dividend already did so. It's a little late to invest in those stocks. But what you can do, and what I've done after uh, doing this study myself, is sign up for Google uh, Alerts. Google Alerts. Just go to just go to Google and type Google Alerts, and you'll get a website, and you can type in whatever you want. And what will happen is, for that keyword, whenever there's some news article about that or containing that keyword, you will get an email, and it'll say, "Here's a news article talking about that keyword." So I've done this for multiple things because I'm interested in investing. For example, if I see a increase. I've done it before with the word bear market and market crash. If I see an increase in the news articles for those terms, I know that the market is getting more bearish and it's time to buy more puts, right? So you can do the same thing with terms like doubles dividend or doubled its dividend. Those kind of keywords will tell you the stocks that are about to double its dividend and then you know this is a good time to get in on that stock, okay? So that's my strategy for you. Um, if you don't buy stocks or if you're not building a portfolio, what you can do is you can buy call options. I know a lot of my subscribers like to play options because that's usually what I teach when I teach the gap game plan system. Using options can make more money with less investment than buying stock. So if you're going to play options, all you have to do is make sure that the dividend has the dividend stock has options on it and then buy call options, and it could be long-term, probably you want to be a year out, they're going to be a bit expensive, or you can buy multiple short-term and then roll over. So that means, let's say you buy an October call option, after October's option expires, it's not going to expire, you can sell it back at a higher price, after that happens, you buy another one for November, uh, and you just move on, keep going like that, okay? So my only real um, practical tip for today in terms of buying a stock is that um, AIG, the stock AIG, is going to double its dividend soon. Keep a watch out for it. I am not buying it at the moment. I might buy it in the future with a call option. Uh, I think it's going to fall more before it goes up. So I'm waiting to see that low point and then at that time I'm going to buy a call option on it. So if you're a subscriber, um, well, follow me on Seeking Alpha, and when I actually do determine this is the time to buy AIG, I'll send everybody who is following me an email alert and say, hey, it's time to get in on AIG. If you want to buy it, buy it. If you want to buy a call option, here's the best call option to buy. So that's your lesson for today. If a stock doubles its dividend, it's pretty much time to get in on that stock because that stock's about to soar in most cases.